Um, hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Anita, consultant microbiologist. Today I am here to discuss about uh, immunoprophylaxis and immunohematology. Uh, moving on to the chapter preview. So first uh, I will cover it up uh, with uh, immunoprophylaxis details followed by immunohematology. So in immunoprophylaxis uh, thing we will include active immunoprophylaxis and passive immunoprophylaxis. Active immunoprophylaxis is nothing but vaccination and which contains all types of vaccines and uh, other uh, details. And the past immunoprophylaxis is nothing but ready-made commercially available immunoglobulins. And also I will discuss on national immunization schedule. And in, in immunohematology part, I will cover uh, the basics of ABO, RH uh, blood group system followed by safe uh, blood transfusion practice and transfusion reaction and transfusion transmitted infection. I am not going into detailed uh, explanation for uh, immuno, immunohematology uh, thing, only I will just cover the basics, basics of immunohematology uh, which should be very easy for further understanding. So moving on to introduction. Here immunoprophylaxis against microbial pathogens can be classified into active immunoprophylaxis or vaccination and passive immunoprophylaxis or immunoglobulin administration. As I told before immunoprophylaxis is classified into active immunoprophylaxis and passive immunoprophylaxis. Active immunoprophylaxis is nothing but vaccination where uh, there is an active participation of the host immune system whereas in passive immunoprophylaxis. Uh, there is no active participation of the host immune system. Uh, here uh, the ready-made immunoglobulins are administered for immediate effect. So moving on to active immunoprophylaxis. Active immunoprophylaxis is nothing but vaccination. What is vaccine? It is an immunological preparation that provides specific protection against a given disease. What happens after vaccination? Following vaccine administration, the immunogen that is the active ingredient of the vaccine stimulates the immune system of the body to produce active immunity in the form of either protective antibody or immunocompetent T cell response. So following vaccine administration, uh, the host immune system will be activated, will be stimulated to produce active immunity in the form of protective antibody or T cell response, immunocompetent T cell response. So history. The term vaccine and vaccination are derived from the uh, variole vaccine, that is smallpox of the cow, the term devised by Edward Jenner. Louis Pasteur proposed that these terms should include all the new protective preparations being developed. So based on the valency, vaccines are divided into monovalent and polyvalent. Monovalent is nothing but it contains single antigen or single serotype of microbe. Whereas in polyvalent vaccine, two or more strains of the same microbe are added. Example, trivalent vaccine are commercially available for influenza virus infection and also polio virus infection. Then vaccines are classified as homologous vaccine and heterologous vaccine. In homologous vaccine, the immunizing substance is derived from the same microorganism against which it is used. In heterologous vaccine, here the vaccine organism is different from the disease causing organism. These are called generian vaccines. So homologous vaccine, most of the vaccines are homologous vaccines. Um, example like uh, in um, COVID uh, uh, vaccines, uh, the immunizing substance is derived from the COVID virus against which it is used. Whereas in heterologous vaccine, the vaccine organism is different from the disease causing organism. So example, Jenner's use of cowpox to protect against smallpox. Use of BCG vaccine made from Mycobacterium bovis to protect against human tuberculosis caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. So these are examples of heterologous vaccine. So vaccines are again uh, classified into homologous vaccine and heterologous vaccine. In homologous vaccine, uh, the immunizing substance is derived from the same microorganism against which it is used. That is uh, the immunizing substance. The vaccine organism is same as that of disease producing organism. Whereas in heterologous vaccine, the vaccine organism is different from the disease causing organism. These vaccines are called generian vaccines. Most of the vaccines are homologous type. 
whereas some vaccines are heterologous type. In heterologous vaccine, the, like uh, examples include Jenner's use of cowpox to protect against a uh, smallpox, whereas use of BCG vaccine made from uh, Mycobacterium bovis to protect against human tuberculosis caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. So, these are examples of heterologous vaccine, whereas for homologous va vaccine, most of the vaccines are homologous vaccine. Example, uh, in COVID vaccine, the immunizing substance is derived from the COVID virus. So, here uh, the disease producing uh, organism and also the vaccine organism are same in homologous vaccines. So, moving on to the types of vaccine. So, there are various types of vaccine. First is live attenuated vaccine which contains live modified organisms. Next, inactivator or killed vaccine, toxoid vaccine, extracted or cellular fractions vaccine, subunit and recombinant vaccine which are recent vaccines and uh, new approaches on DNA vaccine and edible vaccine. So, these are the types of vaccine. <music>